And welcome back. Bronx Works is a not-for-profit organization helping individuals and families improve their economic as well as their social well-being. Now, Bronx Works strives for the highest ethical and performance standards and remains committed to food justice as well as addressing food insecurity issues here in our borough. Joining us now to share more details is the Program Director of Community Health Programs at Bronx Works, Rachel Gill. And uh, Rachel, good to have you. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you. And, uh, you know, I'm glad to be able to have this conversation a little bit to find out a little bit more about Bronx Works, because I know you guys have been inundated, uh, especially in this pandemic. Before COVID-19, we know that food insecurity was a huge issue. Uh, but now, even more, uh, more and more people are coming through your doors. Absolutely. We've seen a huge increase. I think that um, folks are really relying on us as an agency to show up for them during this time. Um, I think the Bronx was obviously, as we all know, very disproportionately um, affected by COVID-19 um, and that there were a lot of inequities prior to COVID and they've only been exacerbated. Um, so it's really important that we are there for the community. Um, we've seen that increase in our food pantry participation. Um, we saw a huge increase in traffic in our farm stands. Um, there's also been a huge need to seek our services during COVID. Um, we were at first didn't know what to expect. Um, we didn't know that the community wanted to still take our health workshops. They really wanted that connection, that information, those resources um, during that time. So they really reached out and said, you know, if you have, we want to be in your virtual programming. Um, we had transferred all of that programming online from in they showed up full force. Yeah. And I know that when you talk about food insecurity and really dealing with the issue, one issue that gets overlooked sometimes is, is youth food justice and the amount of young people that are really out there and struggling. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, sure. So we have a youth food justice program. Um, so what that does is it helps youth get involved in helping the community um, and get involved in learning about um, things that they can do for themselves and their families to get the resources that they need. Um, and that includes them um, being involved in working at our farm stands um, and getting involved in the summer youth employment program so that they get a paycheck um, for all of the hard work that they do. And they also get to have that knowledge um, and let their families know to come to the farm stand. Um, we also have curriculum for them to learn about. Um, and let their voice be heard. So we really, we really give them um, the ownership of the program and let them educate the community. They create advocacy projects. Um, they created a lot of sugary drink videos for us. Um, they, take, they take part in some culinary trainings um, where they get to learn culinary um, skills in our Team Battle Chef program. So it really lets them um, learn about those issues that they are not alone. Um, and that they can be empowered to, to be part of the solution. Yeah, uh, I wanna just go back just a little bit because you just talked about the community farm stand and I wanna take a little dive into that. Uh, very powerful, uh, you got your youth involved in that. Uh, for people who aren't familiar with the youth community, I mean, with the community farm stand, introduce us to it. Sure, um, so we have two seasonal farm stands um, through Bronx Works. One is at 1130 Grand Concourse um, at our main sort of community center site. Um, and then the other is at in Mott Haven at 545 East 142nd Street. Um, and both um, offer the community affordable local and regional fresh produce. Um, and really the model is that those are part of the community um, and that they are community run. Um, we have community members involved, we have youth involved. Um, and what, they are, what they're there to do is educate and provide the community with those resources. So we accept health bucks, um, they're, they're coupons. So if they come, they get $4 in coupons already. Um, we take farmer's market nutrition program checks, which are $4 checks. We take EBT. Um, and for every $2 folks spend in EBT, they get $2 in health bucks. And that's up to $10. Mm. Um, so there's a lot of incentives that support the community to make that um, those purchases easier. Um, and so we really hope that folks can come out. Um, we have all kinds of produce that's grown in New York through a partnership with Grow NYC. Carrots, apples, strawberries, corn, peppers, um, cilantro, tomatoes, you name it, it's there. 
You name it is there. I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, you guys do a lot uh, in the community, and I know that you try to grapple a whole lot of issues. And one of those is the issue of homelessness. And uh, with that adult homeless kitchen that you've got going, uh, how's that been working? Um, good. Uh, you know that that there was also a transition of those folks um, to some hotels in Manhattan. Um, so there was deliveries going down twice a day um, down to Manhattan with the meals. Um, it was quite the operation. Um, and those numbers are up. Those folks are back at our Bronx site. Um, so that has, we've been um, working on our menus, working on improving that food, improving those menus. Um, and it's really important that folks, um, we have a homeless drop-in center at the living room. Um, it's really important that they're fed well. Um, at the Bronx Works mission, um, part of it is to feed, feed, shelter, teach, and support. And we don't wanna just feed um, with stuff and packages, processed food. We wanna feed those folks the best we can with the best ingredients possible. Um, and that, uh, aside from the farm stand, that's also making sure that the food we serve is high quality, culturally appropriate, and tastes good. Um, so that's what we're able to do with those kitchens is really work on improving that and listening to the clients and meeting those needs. Yeah. Have you been able to keep up given the fact that, you know, we've had these COVID restrictions, staffing has been reduced, I know, in a, in a lot of areas and what you can actually do, a lot of restrictions in place. How have you been able to manage? Sure. So the staff has really stepped up. I have to give all the credit to our staff. Um, they've had to individually pack meals. Some of those meals were packaged a family style so in one big package and they've got to do m multiple times more work um, so they really showed up during the pandemic for that um, we also take advantage of culinary interns through partnerships with project renewal where those folks are placed at our agency to help learn their skills and we've actually hired them at the end of their internship we also use summer youth employment program youth um, so i really think that it's the staff and the community um, and interns really stepping up to the challenge. Yeah. Well, Rachel, I know you got your hands full, but you're doing a good job. And so continue the great work that you got going on at Bronx Works and uh, glad to have you on. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure being here. All righty, Rachel Gill, our guest here on from Bronx Works. Now, if you want more information, of course, you can always go to their website. That is bronxworks.org. Also on their social media platforms on Instagram at Twitter at Bronx Works. Don't go anywhere. We do have more open to open up to you. So don't go anywhere. We're coming right back in a few.